Um, hello. <laughs> Miss Wild. I have our, I have our, I have our, I have our old farts logo up purposely. Because, oh, good. That's, you know, exactly, can, that's exactly what I look like right now. So I know I, I heard that. So, <laughs> but we have. Oh, can't hear you. Help. Can't hear you. There you are. Can I hear you? Gary, I'm, I said we have a, we have a special guest. And we want to hear, we know about your the special guest we have today. Because right, David me, can't make it, so you're have, you're David. I'm David. Dang, I have changed a lot. You're David. They're, they, they, I know David's changed sex as well, and uh, I think he grew. But they uh, can see Carlos now, and they can't really see you, but they see me because everybody wants to see me. All right, you're, so you tell us about our guest. I managed to change my clothes. Here we are. Okay, let's. Uh -oh. see. I know. I don't even know what. The, Okay, Cam on car. Oh, look at that. Wow. Wait a minute. Let's know, because wow. because she's changed her clothes. Yeah, Here we go. Dun dun dun. I can't really see you. I have some some lights. <laughs> I have some. Just I don't know if Carlos showed that. I don't know if he, he saw the show with the bunny ears that you wore. So I, I had bunny show. ears and a construction hat on at the same time because <laughs> that's just how I roll. You know, we work <laughs> play. Okay. Hi. Um so. Hey, you have electricity oh. in Austin. Who knew? I know. It's wild. Um, please don't make that <laughs> <joke>. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> um, little play on your name there. So yeah. who's our guest? And first of all, David, we're sorry you're not here, but it is 6.30 in the evening while we're doing this interview with Carlos. And Correct. in Amsterdam, that's like old people's sleep time. So David can't make it. So our what? resident art connoisseur um, and curator, Miss Wild, Oscar's granddaughter, is here. My grandfather is awesome. And now we can't hear. Um, Guys, yes. I Oscar like Meyer. Go ahead. <laughs> You're throwing me off, man. Okay, so I would like to introduce I know. my uh, very good friend and seriously one of my favorite artists in Austin, um, Carlos Elliot Burgess. And he does these incredible um, acrylic paintings uh, generally um, on canvas. And he, he, he likes to focus on movie stills his subjects vary but he's very romantico i think personally when i describe his style i think it's very romantic it's very like brushy strokey kind of these are all very official art terms um <laughs> but, because i thought we were making a porno all of a sudden i, I was yeah. like, like are we talking about art or you know all right yeah so all right well, yeah <laughs> That's my introduction, Carlos. Um, you know, I think at this point you probably do a great, better job. <laughs> you should jump in sooner rather than later, my friend. Yeah, and thank you for doing this because we understand you've got a lot of craziness going on in the in the house. Yeah, yeah. We'll see how how long it goes. Um, hi, everybody. Right. Um, yeah, my name is Carlos Elliot Burgos. Um, I've been a painter for pretty much half my life. Um, at least I've painted for half my life. I've been selling work for at least the past twenty years. Um, Very cool. my style varies. Yeah. I don't really have a style. I think, I think I'm constantly changing. I think that's part of, part of who it takes to be an artist. Like if you do the same thing a thousand times, it gets really old. Um, so you just do different iterations of that. Uh, yeah. Um, so Natasha tapped on a couple of things. I'm, I'm kind of a, into the pop culture or at least pop culture of my time. Uh, at least I feel like it's my and what's time. That, and, what, and what's the, what's the, so what's I, the pop I graduated high school in, in the nineties. Uh, so I think I'm out of tune with what's going on right now. Sometimes, uh, some of the words okay. that I hear from kids, I'm like, what does that mean? You're still in uh, tune for our generation. We're very, well, we're, we're the top dogs now, you know? Oh, fair, fair. Okay. We're, we're making we're the rules prime, now. Right? So, yeah. You know, there you go. This, this is where you're right on cue. You're okay. Yeah. Well, good, good. Then I feel better. Um, yeah, I think I just kind of, my, my baseline for what makes me want to create something is whether or not it strikes a chord in me. Uh, so, hey, bub, uh, anything that I love, that's what it boils down to. So <laughs> I knew it wasn't going to last long. And we have a guest star today. A guest star we also. Do. We have a guest star with us. Yeah. Okay. You can go behind there. That's my son. He's three. <laughs> this could That's be okay. weird. He's really cute. Um, he's a fitting image of his dad. He's a little guy. Um, he's yeah, got a so mustache it, and a beard. This is awesome. He, I know. he, he does. <laughs> it's in the Spanish thing. He's been 
working on it since he was born. Um, okay. <laughs> no, I, I basically boil it down to if, if, if there's something strikes me strong enough to where it resonates for longer than five seconds, which I know <laughs> isn't a lot for some people, but it hits yeah, you, you know, that moment where time kind of stops yeah. and you're like, something's important about this. Um, I feel the need to try to make my own iteration of that somehow. Um, it could be something as silly as a, a bull on a farm in the middle of the Texas landscape, or it could be a cool scene with Brad Pitt, you know, looking sexy in Fight Club. You want it closed? Oh, cool. Uh, yeah. So I'm all over the place when it comes to my art. Um, I think I struggled for a long time with identity when it came to that. Right. Uh, I didn't really know what I wanted to do. I see all these other artists doing things. Uh, they have a, a very distinct style uh, or whatever you want right. to frame it as, but you could recognize specific artists by what they were creating, what their topics were. And I range everywhere from, you know, like I said, landscape stuff, portrait stuff, caricatures. Um, it's just whatever, whatever sinks, sinks in. Um, so if somebody, if somebody wants to buy your art or go look at your art, is there, do mm -hmm. you go to your website? Are you in galleries in Austin? I know this, uh, is, you know, yeah. our, our, our art. Like, go to my so. website, buy it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you well, can go to Natasha for sure. <laughs> yeah. Um, you, yeah. You have your own, um, well, I mean, he's been in a few galleries. Yeah. Yeah. Um, with okay. me. <laughs> hey, a mini me. Hi, mini me. Yeah. He shaved just now. He just shaved, so he doesn't. Ah, very nice. I see that yeah. all clean cut for the interview. I like yeah. that. That's very oh, nice. Sunny. This is Sunny. <laughs> Hi, Sunny. Hi, Sunny. How you doing? I don't yeah. Oh, he said, "How are you doing?" That's right. I have the. <laughs> He's like, I don't hear you. Have in your ear. He can't hear you. Yeah. Like that? What's going on? Yeah. So, um, yeah. In a nutshell, I think that's me. I can show you guys some stuff if if it's possible. That would uh, I don't be know awesome. If I can flip this camera or, or if, uh, how that works. But if I hit cam, will that do anything? Or I don't want to like. Oh yeah, that's I don't want to yeah. do that. If you just move the camera, if you just <laughs> move your laptop or whatever you're using around. Yeah. Okay, I can do that. Uh, I'm on an, I'm on a phone you. tripod thing. It's okay, buddy. It's because okay. I have my earbud in. So yeah, I'm gonna move some stuff around. I'll talk about it. <laughs> We'll see yeah. how it goes. Yeah, that'd be <laughs> awesome. We'd love to see your stuff. Thank you. You want to uh, hear like the it? Tractor. That's very cool. Yeah. So this is a piece I've been working on for way too long. Uh, <laughs> okay. And this is one of those things but, where but I, uh, I like buddy, you can't hear it's in my ear right now. <laughs> maybe, I should, maybe I should turn off the Bluetooth. Let me see if I can do this. Uh, there you go. Can y'all hear me okay? No. We can hear you, Sonny. Sonny, the one question, the really important question, Sonny, can you hear us? Yeah, that is the important question. Can you hear them? Hi, Sonny. Hey, Sonny. <laughs> yeah, she can hear. Sonny's like, I can hear. All right, okay. Sonny can hear. Now, now we can have a show. Okay. That's the important thing. Perfect. So, so we'll do a I like quick this tractor. Camera. This is very cool. Just so you guys know, there's nothing luxurious sure. about my studio. It's just a garage, right? <laughs> so no worries. Uh, you should see some of the artist galleries we get to see. So. Yeah. Uh, this guy, this uh, tractor gallery thing, is, uh, a tractor painting is a uh, four foot by five foot. I put about 80 hours into it so far. Wow. Here, hold that, please. Uh, this one, I'm sure Natasha has told you about, maybe mentioned it once or twice. This is probably my favorite creation. Uh, okay. By a three foot painting of uh, and the, and from the Royal Tenenbaums. Did you see that? Okay. okay, I don't know if you saw that at all. Or yep, we, we see it. it's very very pretty. So is the tractor for sale or is it? Let's go to the tractor yeah, really quick before uh, we go yeah, to Glenn. Yeah. Is the tractor for sale or not? The tractor one is for sale. Yeah, it's incomplete. Uh, so I don't know what I'm gonna okay. charge for it just yet. But yeah, it's for what sale. You, I just want to feel, create it. Can we see it a little bit closer? What do you feel that's not complete about? Yeah, it? you want some more detail? Yeah, what's not complete about it? It looks complete to me, but I'm not an artist. Uh, Always knows. I never really know when it's going to be complete. <laughs> it's when it feels gotcha. right. Yeah. Right. So now if somebody wants to buy that from you, then they don't know. You don't know what you're even going to charge. So someone calls you and goes, I want to buy it. You have to kind of make a decision. Well, that's Sorry, when you I consult with me. 
<laughs> oh, okay, I'm sorry. Miss Wild will do the negotiations. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's why we're okay. together, so I can help him with that, right? Gotcha. That is very, uh, that's a beautiful work, the tractor. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Why did you that decide really to paint that tractor? Was, what was that moment? You said, you know, you usually have moments where you, um, you know, just stop and pause. Did you actually see this tractor? Was it from a movie or? Oh, I can hear about 4% of what you guys are saying right now. Cause I thought that you was. Have a background, uh, voice. Uh, I'm going to move over here real quick just so I can hear what you're saying. Okay. And we'll try asking, what was that? What? Okay. So I was asking how do you, about that. How do you choose? Well, you said you, um, that when you choose a, a subject, that it's usually because there was like a moment that you yeah were just pausing on it. So was that is that tractor from a movie or is that something you saw? No, that life? that tractor. So in my life, I've probably had fifty jobs, right? <laughs> and one of those jobs, I was a, a FedEx driver, uh, and I used to drive around all over the. Austin and outskirts of Austin. So Niederwald and what have you. And there's tons of farms out there that just have beautiful landscapes. Um, and occasionally they'll have these just broken down old tractors in the front uh, and they use them as decor because they don't work anymore. It's not like you can really drive those into town and get rid of them. So on occasion I come across these sort of dilapidated tractors and I just find a beauty in them because they just sit there in this art that no one ever sees. So I always thought it'd be really cool to share it with other people. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. I actually, it's very, it's very pretty. I, often, I also find the kind of dilapidated machinery cool to photograph. It's definitely something that catches my eye because the colors, the colors are interesting, right? You know, um, yeah. and you're a painter, so you love the colors. Um, and I guess maybe we can go over to, um, Gwyneth Paltrow. Gwyneth Let's take Paltrow. a look at Gwyneth because I'm sure Miss Paltrow has some fans that may want to, to buy the Paltrow. Now, was, is Gwyneth, do we have a price? Yes. Let me find that. Okay. All right. Miss Wild has to do, Miss Wild has to now do her day job, which is like, tell us the price of a painting. <laughs> I was a little caught up. You know, I had to vote, you guys. So, uh, you know, it's very, it was important. Uh, like really? Duty. Well, thank God. Yeah, just... thank God you know, what would we do? Oh, my. Uh, Sorry, guys. Having technical difficulties again. No worries. No worries. Can you hear us good? I'm really Here's glad. better? The worse? Uh, in a disorganized way, Steve, because uh, it really takes the pressure off of me. <laughs> I think it's actually kind of I kind of like it it's just very like like I said we're at a cocktail party and this is what happens right things happen I kind of like it okay so. so that the portrait of Margot Tenenbaum is going for just under 8,000 um, okay um, that one is uh, 36 by 72 so it's it's pretty large okay, um, okay. and then I'm actually putting a, like so i have these this oh, new boy. feature on my website where you can actually look at the painting on your wall just trying to help people oh, visualize nice. like where they're going to put it you know and see kind of how sure. they about that you know i think that really is gonna can change, change things i think for online um exposure right. um but yeah that's one of my favorite ones and that was in the art show uh that we did in August, and that was the the month of um, the five art shows for me. Um, but that was during the heat waves show uh, where we had. But your your pieces were definitely like one of some of the the highlights. People were super into, especially this one. It was very very common. On. I think it would work well uh, in a lot of homes because that pink. I think we lost. I think we lost Carlos. He's going to come back. Well, that's okay because I'm just talking away. <laughs> I know. I like that. Keep talking. So you had him in an art show. Tell us about it because you know. <laughs> So the art show was amazing, um, and you know he was one of the first artists I contacted um, to to be in it because I mean I just we have a close relationship as far as you know I just feel like he's he's always on it you know I feel like whenever I'm right. I'm trying to choose artists it's people who are really committed to, you know having a career as an artist and Carlos right. is definitely one of them yeah. so um, you brought this one to the heat wave show and then you brought that the zebra. Oh, do we yeah. have do we have this? I'm back. One? Yeah. yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah. I'm kind of I'm kind of back. We'll see. 
Okay, no worries. Uh, we really uh, listen. Yeah. We know Sunny. We know Sunny's the star of the show. We got it. So Apparently. we're okay with yeah. it. So. Apparently. Uh, okay, so I'm going to try to show y'all a few more pieces. Like it's just sure. kind of thrown around in here. Uh, this okay. is something I don't know if Natasha has seen this one or not. Oh, the uh, Robux. I love that. That's really yeah. cool. So this uh, is from uh, the Iron Giant. Um, yeah. I, I don't know if you recall that, but that was one of Brad Bird's first feature films, who is like the Pixar bigwig uh, genius. Um, love that. Um, do, we know, do we have a price on that, Miss Wild? Um, that one I haven't seen before. Uh, yeah. What What's the? Yeah. Wait, Carlos, let us let us take a closer look at that. Let, let's sure, see. Sure. Let's do a really and, close and look. Me, That's. Tell me how big it is. Um, I this. I want to say it's like forty-five and a half inches by thirty inches. Okay. So I don't know how close the detail comes in on here, but it actually buddy. comes in very, very, very clear. This is absolutely gorgeous. Oh, good. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, good. No, no. Uh, okay. <laughs> no, it's the it's the worst stuff I've ever seen. No, it's gorgeous. I love it. It's beauty. So we have to get a price. Sunny, what do you think? Sonny can't hear us, so no, that's okay. okay. We we don't avoid yeah, we, don't, we don't want Sonny to hear us apparently. So <laughs> oh but, no, oh, I'm sorry, okay, you're sad. That's all right. Um, You'll hear us later. So I don't know what the glare is going to look like on any of these, but I'm nope. sure Andy Natasha Garcia is familiar looks, with that one. Yep, we see. I've seen Andy Garcia. That looks good. Very pretty. Do we have a price uh, on Andy? We do. Natasha has that. Sure. We're gonna. I'm doing math on the. Um, the other one, we're just like robot. Oh, the robot, the iron, the iron giant. <laughs> yeah. You know, you know. We'll say this while we're live on the air. You know so what we speak. can do is we can give you like I mean, so basically, you know, Carlos's art is going for just under three dollars a shirt. So if that helps the buyer. <laughs> well, uh, here I got one better for you. If Carlos wants, we can do what we're doing for one of the other artists, and down below. We can put up his little auction for him, and when yeah, his stuff airs, we can have that discussion. The painting, Bubba. You want to see it? We have not. Well, we kind of, I kind of talked to him about it, but I mean, what we'll do because this is—is is this live? Live? No, 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 no. We didn't go. No. We don't go live unless everybody knows we're going live. We've we've yeah. only done two live shows. Okay. Um, the one was where we did the live art auction with the, all the artists, and then the other was with a guest. Um, because they wanted people to ask them questions. So we've done a couple live shows yes, and they're yes, very cool. Thanks. But this one we record. But the funny thing about our show is we don't edit. So Sonny's in right. the show. No, all this cool. is here. <laughs> yeah. Well, we want to make sure that if, yeah, if, like if we were at your house and Sonny was running around right now, this is what would be happening. So people okay. need to see the yeah. artist and Miss Wild. They, they, they know Miss Wild and there you go. So, uh, that's a um, painting, so Bob. The giant is going to be uh, thirty-six fifty, or yeah, thirty-six dollars 30, and fifty cents. Sold America. It's a deal. <laughs> it's a deal. <laughs> I will take two because I need bookends. So. Three thousand. <laughs> said six hundred. Yes, I am aware of that. Thank you very much. <laughs> well, so. I just make sure that everyone's aware. Of that. That's true. Cool. Uh, so we have another. Game. This is kind oh, of a uh, thank you. This is a uh, kind of my. This is where I got my addiction to gaming back in the day. Let me see if I can back that up. A is little that bit. like a Mike Tyson? That is a Mike Tyson. Uh, okay. Yeah, uh, thirty twenty four by thirty six acrylic on canvas. Um, I call it Never Give Up. You still <laughs> have the original. This is the original. Yeah, yeah. I still have this. This is uh, acrylic on linen. Very nice. And then oh, thank you. wild. What is our? What is I, all your stuff is absolutely gorgeous. And I like oh, the, thank you. The color. No, I like the colors. I mean, I collect art, so I like things that are vibrant and pop out and they speak to you. Some of the art you look at, it's like, yeah, it's great. Why did you spend that much money on it? So this, you know, what I mean, you look at this stuff and go, "There's, I see the value in that, so to speak." You can't so. go back there, bud. I'm sorry. Well, thank you very much. Two thousand five hundred and ninety. Yeah, now you really think two thousand five hundred, not like twenty five ninety nine, because I'm yeah, like, Ooh, clear with that. I got two of them now, yeah, like for fifty like bucks. Two thousand five hundred eighty nine ninety nine. Gotcha, gotcha. So it's very a good cool. deal. It's, 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 it's stuff is gorgeous and it's vivid and it's bright. It is and it, so, really, like, yeah, it's great. I think this art's amazing. And honestly, whenever I whenever I do shows, whenever I do um, just anything, if I have Carlos's work around, everyone's right. upset. They're just always like, wow, this is really amazing. Show them, um, show us the, the, uh, the hotel, the hotel. 
please. Uh, if you sure, have sure, sure, sure. I do have it. Is this this is the newest piece? And this is the newest people, one. Yeah. Well, people were just freaking out about it at the market. Oh, thanks. Uh, I'm gonna you try are. to do it justice. Oh, I don't wait. know if I can. Let's do let's do it this way so we get. Oh, that's pretty. <laughs> that's see, that's beauty. Thank you, you. Tell us a story about this one. It's yes. a uh, so my wife and I stayed. This is a Hotel Emma in uh, it's a lounge <laughs> in uh, San Antonio. It's a lounge of the Hotel Emma. Which okay. I don't know if you've been there or not. Uh, I don't know if you're. Yeah, San Antonio opened this hotel in the Pearl District a few years ago, and they renovated the building where they used to do the, uh, you know, the brewery. Um, and the the lounge is absolutely stunning. Like it is gorgeous in there. It's got so much texture and uh, color, and just feels so warm. Um, my wife and I had a couple of cocktails there and i just fell in love with the scenery um yeah that's about it that's the end of the tour of that. Yeah, Bob. It's like that's our tour thanks for coming now no, go no, home. No. <laughs> <laughs> he's just really good at knocking stuff over my son and i'm like please yeah. don't get hurt while i'm while you're, while you're recording, yes, we yeah, we have to delete the recording all of a sudden. Really? It's like, no, no, we never recorded. We never met him. No, no. <laughs> really special content. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, yeah special <laughs> content for the course. podcast. They're just like wrecking kids everywhere. Very cool. <laughs> so now okay, are we'll you going to there? other than Miss Wild's website and possibly stuff with two old farts on the auction that Option. we'll be doing, will you be showing <laughs> somewhere that people can go and see? Like you touch and feel uh, and smell and eat and whatnot. Uh, that would be lovely. I don't really have anything on the okay, record. I, Natasha might have something for me. Maybe. I don't know. Would you yeah, want to answer that? Well, we will. I'm working on a, well, I, that's actually a good time to ask the public, you guys, like I need a venue for my next show. So okay. as I have that, I can, I can touch <laughs> my heart. Um, I definitely yeah. will, uh, so for for East Austin Studios tours, I was thinking about arranging like an unofficial show. If there's any interest in that, um, absolutely happy to do that. Um, it's a lot. There's a lot going on East Austin Studio tours, so it's kind of like a very saturated events market in Austin, which already is the case. So you know, on top of that, like times ten for art, um, it's like the two weekends um, that Austin is into art <laughs> wait what's the two weekends at austin's into art i didn't know they were into it i thought they were only into I'm like really, ganja and <laughs> you know south by southwest <laughs> yeah it's like the it's just like that but it's it was east austin, east austin studio tours and west austin studio tours and now it's just um austin studio tours because you know there's just all okay. kinds of chaos going on but it's november 5th okay through the 19th <laughs> Maybe, um, like that's, I think my memory, if my memory serves me, but, um, you know, there's lots of cool shows going on. Hey, hey. Austin comes out for that. Um, maybe nice. taking home some art. And <laughs> well, we may, we have to do this cause this show is slated for November 22nd, but since this, uh, uh, the Austin studio tours are happening, if you will, like tomorrow, we may have to have the show go live on the fifth or the sixth so people can at least hear it and go from there. Uh, I think it just all depends if we can get that, you know, we just have to make sure to get those pieces up before I think. Yeah. That's very cool. I, I, your stuff is phenomenal. I totally, totally love it. Thank you. I mean, like, I, that I'm means a lot. Th Check out Brad Pitt, maybe. The oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I've got more. Here. It's and just like, us, listen, we're here for you. You show us whatever you want, my friend. Yeah. So here's an example. Uh, of the bills. I don't know. Oh, that's nice. No, is that Brad Pitt, uh, Brad Pitt from Fight Club? Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Okay. And then how much yeah. is Mr. Pitt? And that one is. Uh, oh, and you have, you saw that Anthony Bourdain, Bourdain too, don't you? I do. Yeah, yeah. I have an Anthony Bourdain portrait that I did. Oh, very nice. The, the day yeah. after. I found Jennifer, out. Jennifer Aniston or uh, Angeli Jolie may want the Brad Pitt one. So we probably want to tell them how much it is so they can I, buy that. I could see that. So people often ask me, like, um, it, it's, a, it's a little bit of an annoying question, but it's also a relevant one. Well, I was, well, ask me, like, okay, great. This is beautiful art, but where am I going to put this in my home? And I, right. I would talk about that for a second because, like, mm -hmm. it definitely is, like, something people are, are constantly like, wondering about. When we have this AR tool that looks at the house, I think, for instance, this one would go great in like. Uh, 
escape or like, you know, some sort of place where you, know, you hang out with the boys. Because Fight Club is such like a testosterone field. <laughs> yeah, like a smoking yeah. lounge if that exists, you know, something yeah. like that. Like a, like a cigar, like a cigar, a scotch and cigar room. Right. Yeah. You have a foosball table or something. Yeah. Like, I don't know if you can like see. I got in the I, we can. <laughs> That's absolutely gorgeous. Foosball table. <laughs> Yeah. Well, Sears, it's really cool. When next time you're on your laptop, we can actually just give you, you can just share it on your laptop to the whole oh. world. Um, yeah. So you're right. We can do that. But I know. I know. Listen, technology, it's a wonderful thing. I just read a book about it. So, you know, we're no. going to <laughs> be on camera. For some reason, the phone makes me feel better about life. I know. I see that. So, wait, I see another picture coming from Mr. Carlos. So let's see if oh, we can yeah. see this one. This is that Bourdain. Anthony Bourdain. Uh, Very nice. Yeah. Uh, another favorite that was uh, a little different as far as style goes, but there's a lot of uh, I don't know, crossover in the in the in the style. So um, my stuff kind of builds based on how when it, Natasha touched on it earlier. Like I know when I'm done when I'm when I'm done. Uh, some stuff like that painting was really really quick, so it was a couple of hours. Uh, whereas you know the tractor painting behind it is 80 plus hours, and I spend way too much time on it. And, well, and I feel like that, you know, it's just like the subject. I mean, Anthony Bourdain, yeah. think about who he was, you know. Uh, yeah, right. Like, amazing individual. Look, I'm Dancy. Quick. Like, he would, say, he would just say what was on his mind. That was Look, like, Dancy. And, um, you know, he would do things, like, in sort of, like, a haphazard kind of way, but just, like, that felt good. And, like, I feel like. Also, he was a complex guy. You know, he had a lot of like, you know, people talk about, I think in his book, he talked about his mental, you know, struggles, just, you know, kind of with depression, with going back and forth from like just loving the hell out of life and then also like being kind of conflicted inside. So yeah. that's why I really like that one because I, like, when you look at the hair, if you want to go back to looking at the, the painting, um, <laughs> um, you can see, I feel like you can totally see his like con conflicted nature in the painting here. Right expression on his face he's like concerned but he's like yeah. he's like thinking you know you can see he's like per perplexed about something he's like thinking about something and then i feel like the hair being like kind of left undone it says a lot um you know with the the brush strokes the way they are like the colors you chose I, it's i love it now how much is anthony miss miss that was 1785 seven, 1785 really you're learning <laughs> So listen, I have a question. Where would I hang that in my house? No, I'm just kidding. Um, you have an app. We can show people. Uh, you know, I mean, I think if it's Anthony, I would put it in the kitchen. You know, I would put there it in the go. kitchen. I would, I, I would remember and reflect on Anthony while you're cooking because, like, that would, you know, be inspiring. You know, you want sure. the energy of the painting to imbue, be imbued in what you're doing. And that's why people do buy original art is – or. Yeah. Why I think you should buy original art is to bring that energy into your home because prints are amazing. Um, they're beautiful. They're aesthetic. Um, but the energy of the painting is, is in that original piece. Right. I agree with that. Yeah. Carlos, what else do you have that you can show us? If, of course, if Sonny's okay with it, then we're okay. Yeah. It, so. Yeah. Uh, we have a, I have a couple more. Oh, I wanted to show you, this is a silly one. This is okay. like a, uh, it's a self-portrait. I I don't think Natasha has seen this one either. Um, this was like dabbling with oil. Um, I brief little glimpse when I dropped off the art the other day. I was like, Did oh. you? Okay, okay. So this is a uh, my hair was different. This is what happens when you're woken up by a toddler at four in the morning. This is kind of the face. Nice. Make. That's uh, awesome. That is. <laughs> I mean, this is a compliment. That is so cartoonish. I love it. Yeah. It really yeah. looks. It's. It really is like a cartoon. I love it. That is awesome. <laughs> Like, There's a little study I did on some wood. Yeah. Um, very nice. Wait, I never now, how sell self-portraits. Self -portrait? That's weird. I don't oh, know. I never sell them. Yeah, I never have. Yeah. I have a few of them. Yeah, I've given a couple away as like, a, I don't know why you want a picture of me, but here you yeah. go. Well, you know, <laughs> this way when you're like hanging in the Louvre or the Met or someplace or, you know, Natasha's house, uh, we can show people. So, but that is well, absolutely gorgeous, yeah. that one. Those, those you. portraits tend to, those, those are for the their career aka like the unknown of their lives and then they're like oh the self-portraits we love those we love right. them. <laughs> like, and then the self the self-portrait is what makes you that awesome stuff my friend so is there anything else that you have like i mean this is once again it's the nicest way lying around that you want to show i saw it lying yeah on no that's that's the tragedy of having a lot of art in the house it literally <laughs> does lie around and i just right. end up you know getting it dusty oh. and 
how about we show them like uh, one that's like on the more affordable <laughs> No, but it's like absurdly underpriced um for anyone feel of a deal but uh the hand, hand oh yeah 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 you have a hand I study love that okay sure okay. sure hang on a second let me see if i can find we're going to the hand study here and just to make miss wild uncomfortable hi, hi <laughs> man i was you guys my voting sticker i don't I know why i'm really excited about that everyone everyone has to show their vote they voted off. i'm just i'm excited you voted Thanks. Thanks so much. Uh, you I know, know. I'll be in Mexico on the eighth, uh, so I will not be able to do that. So I went ahead and did it. We were joking in line. People were um, they don't let you take your phone, right? right. And the ballot. And I that's like something that's kind of new. I I do, but it's like they're enforcing it now because before right. I was like, you know, but apparently that's like not OK. I don't know why exactly it's not OK, but it's not OK. Look at um, you being a little like a, a real citizen. I'm very impressed. I'm, Actual your, your grandfather would be very impressed as well. I'm just letting <laughs> yeah, you know. I think he was English, so you know. Yeah, what does he know? He's English. <laughs> so is David. We love David, and he's English too. Oh, so. Right. And he. Oh, look at this. This is the hand. I thought it was something else at first. I got excited, but anyway, this is very nice. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Colors here. I think they're very pretty. Um, I I just really love your color usage, Carlos. I think it's always surprising, but just oh. apropos uh, as well. Very nice. All right, so Miss Wild, what does the hand go for? Uh, that one is uh, is listed for a shockingly low price of three hundred three hundred seventy five dollars. Wow, three hundred seventy five. That is like awesome. But it's it's tiny. It's a little guy. It's like yay, my head. <laughs> yeah, I feel like it's, it's like a fourteen by fourteen or something. It's not a very big piece at all. And it's I hand Wild stretched it so. So Miss Wild was voguing there for yeah. you know, everyone on the podcast oh. that can't see this. So, but no, it's that's a gorgeous piece. That is very pretty. Thank All you. your stuff is absolutely gorgeous. I'm not. I'm surprised you're not like everybody doesn't know who you are. I'm lazy. That's my problem. Okay, well, thank God we're here. <laughs> no, for you now. I have a, I have a, like a weird thing socially. Like I'm pretty awkward. So the fact that okay. I'm doing this is kind of a miracle to me, honestly. <laughs> you're doing great. That's what thank I'm you. It's like, and that's why, you know, that's why, really why I do what I do, like, really, Steve, is just this, this exact, we've got an incredible artist here, right. who deserves all the recognition in the world, um, just hasn't gotten out there as much um, as, as he, as he could, but he's got a kid, he's got a full-time right. job, you know, he, he's creating, like, artists want to just paint, right, they're not trying to be social media stars, they're not trying right. to be others, you know, so that's why I do what I do, so I can get people's names out there and get them the exposure, uh, marketing, you know, all the things that like kind of suck to have to do, but that you have to do. Otherwise, like if you paint something, it, it doesn't. Nobody make knows. Sense. And then, and then hence you come on shows like two old farts making noises and we interview everybody because everybody deserves to be heard. And unfortunately, or fortunately, we have people that market for us and <laughs> they go, look, people look up to these people. So <laughs> it's awesome. Yeah. And if you want to follow Carlos, um, he is on Instagram and his his tag is Carlos Elliott Art with two T's there at the end. Two L's, two T's. Um, there we go. Yep. He's going to show it to you. There you go. Good. There Ooh, you go. I like that. That's me. That's my uh, signature. Yeah, it's his signature. And then, um, yeah, he's got some of his work there. And Very cool. Yeah. So, um let's blow this guy up in like the most positive way not like a wow that's like you gotta you know this is a this is an election year. you gotta watch when you say that because 2024 is coming and that that's a whole nother connotation so. okay I, I meant let's get, let's get some followers um definitely i mean stay tuned to to where i'm at i mean and as long as carlos puts up with me he'll be in all of my shows nice. um so yeah uh just keep following along and i mean when we put the auction up like check it out you yeah. know his art is absolutely priceless um and right now because he is relatively unknown it is quite affordable so enjoy yeah. it man get it <laughs> mr mr carlos we're gonna we're gonna say thank you for now um sure i david, <laughs> yeah i know that right david's gonna be very upset that he missed this he so was. at some point we'll do another interview Sure. Um, when the okay. when the wife is better and the little guy's you know passed out, yeah, and then we'll do it, and then David will go. David's very British, so he'll ask oh, all the British questions, and it'll be very cool. Okay, and we'll that sounds that. awesome. Yeah, so I thank you so you guys much. Patient with me. 
Oh, no, it was great. And I think this so at least gets good. people to see your art. So we will see you again soon. And thank you, everybody, for watching so or good. listening. And we'll see you all on the next show. Cheers. Love Bye. you guys. Bye. <laughs>